you very okay. much. Coming up, a medical breakthrough that's helping doctors save lives. To me, I describe it as visual overload, okay? Because we're really seeing things we've never seen during open surgery. How technology is giving patients suffering from prostate cancer much more hope. This is KARK 4 News at 5 in high definition. Prostate cancer is the most common form of cancer in American men, the second leading cause of death in that population. Because Health Matters, Baptist Health, along with Arkansas Urology, is introducing a new high-tech prostate imaging and biopsy machine that'll help save lives. Karen Kavoris, Steve Wilson explains. Eddie Bowron has kept his head up and beat prostate cancer, but when he first learned his diagnosis... I was devastated, you know. Um, I mean, I was really shocked. But a medical breakthrough was on the horizon. With the new 3D Da Vinci uh, that Baptist had available at the time I had mine done, they were able to m do things and move them in such a manner as to do the nerve sparing uh, surgery where now I'm, I mean, I'm back 99% to where I was before I even had the surgery. Urologist Dr. Ron Kuhn with Arkansas Urology says when he first started using the Da Vinci, he thought, wow, this is great. To me, I describe it as visual overload, okay? Because we're really seeing things we've never seen during open surgery. Fast forward, and Dr. Kuhn says there is something even better to detect prostate cancer these days, the MRI ultrasound fusion biopsy. In standard prostate biopsies, we would just do an ultrasound of the prostate, which is, it, technology is good, but it, it doesn't show you obvious lesions. As you can say, that looks like a cancer. When you do an MRI, they have criteria that they look at when they see uh, a lesion or a little mass in the prostate. They can grade that mass and give us a percentage on you know, what's the probability that this is cancer. Then doctors can go back combining the MRI with an ultrasound and biopsy that particular area. Know that they are hitting the area that looks abnormal, giving doctors reassurance that they are not missing anything in the prostate, and discuss with patients whether to treat or just closely watch the lesion. Although Eddie Bowron says he wasn't able to use the new technology during his detection, he's still glad it's available now. I have a son. Uh, now that I have been diagnosed with it, that's something that he's going to have to stay on top of. And I have three little grandsons. Bowen says he can only hope research doesn't stop. I just hope that it gets better and better. So all men will have a fighting chance. In North Little Rock, Deidre Wilson, KARK, 4 News. Research shows one in six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during his lifetime.